Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up our second investigation of Kurine Village. And it seems pretty cut and dry who the murderer is, or should I say, murderers. It is probably, in fact, Eeny Miney who worked together with Morgan Fay. It seems they both have motives that relate to their past and their families. And in this episode, we're going to see if we can go ahead and unravel all of that and prove it to the court of law. Also, I'm going to start being more energetic during these intros because of looking back on the previous episodes, I've realized that I kind of just start off the video really low energy, like, hello guys and welcome back, and then I get more amped up as we go along, which is kind of the reverse of how I used to be a couple years ago. Anyways, let's get into this. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah? Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and, well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Pearls, Maya's clearly in a lot of agony at the moment. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Y yeah Yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please. It's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough to without her help. Mr. Nick! That's enough! You can't show weakness in front of the person you love! That's... No, that's very unhealthy, Pearls. Pearly! Not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright. I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your time alone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? That is very adorable that... Phoenix does really care about pearls, and... Ugh. This trial's gonna be rough. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you on such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Well, I'm not very good at making a convincing gulping sound, so that's the best I'm gonna do. Now then, a very in interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That, that the defendant could have left the, the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one more thing before we begin. Uh, Alright, uh, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. N what? But, 
Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that it wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness. Name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. It's gonna be tough differentiating Morgan's voice from uh, the judge's voice because I can't really do old people voices, uh, or at least distinct old people voices. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Ah! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I perform the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? A technique to the remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Y that is. Yes, that is. Mm. You, be quiet. Now, Vitnis, something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes. That is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya. She escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order! 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 Miss Fay, please testify to the court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the channeling chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She, she is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. A crack, you say? Hmm. We'll keep that in mind. I forget if it actually, if the urn actually has any effect in this testimony, but I couldn't not make the pun. Okay, so we're gonna need a, to press a lot of statements for this one, so I'll just point out whenever it's a statement that you need to press. So if you're using this for a walkthrough, just press when I tell you. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. Just now, you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, well, that is not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. 
In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Fay? Okay, so here's one you'll need to press. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there's a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes. That is a very good point. Oh no, Judge is catching f uh, hotty fever. He's saying hmm yes as well. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Question further. There's another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify! Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. Here's another one you'll need to press. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this. However... The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was... covering for Maya? Question further. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she- Oh! This fitness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. I think you also need to press this one. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I am ashamed to admit to such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way that she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Ah! Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... I don't think this needs to be pressed. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. You fainted? I became dizzy, and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy, witness, elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Here's the final thing you need to press. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. 
Well, now what? Question further. So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true... Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness was not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Fey did leave the channeling chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let us take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. And that is exactly what we should be- Eee! Be quiet, view. Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess, most people call it the occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fey. Is this correct? Um, well... Huh, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is alright, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine, for my sake. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like hadn't seen I like hadn't seen her in like so long, I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying that the person who entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fay? Really now, Your Honor? My fave was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Miss Mimi Miney. She was the nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh. Well. This is. Fitness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it, Eni?
She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Y yes There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... This testimony just now... Was it all made up? Was it a, just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia! What do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spots, more, spots up more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this more and more entertaining than the last. Well, maybe it'll be more entertaining in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!